Hello guys, welcome to this new video. So today, I'm going to tell my brother to draw me a picture and I'm going to transform it using my amazing skills into a 3D masterpiece in Blender. So here we go. Anna, I challenge you. You have to draw something and I will make it on my computer. Uh. Okay, so this is the drawing he gave me amazing right so let me load this into my scene to get it started okay so i'm going to use this picture as reference and try to go as accurately as i can to follow it and make it three dimensions so we're going to start by creating the floor so this floor is a nice brown carpet so i'm using my amazing texturing skills and my favorite texturing website textures.com i'm going to make this plane the most beautiful carpet you've seen that nice tiled floor and brownish texture. And then I'm just going to use my amazing hair simulation to give it that nice fuzzy texture. As you can see, that's what he was trying to point out, that this is a fuzzy rug, but there's different shades of brown. So I'm gonna add this hair simulation to make it this thick and fuzzy rug. So now that the rug is done, I'm going to work on the lamp. So this lamp is a one of a kind, unique lamp that I've never seen anywhere because my brother is so creative. Okay, it's a very common lamp, but I'm gonna make it look great. So I'm gonna make this nice metal metallic black pole and then at the top, a slightly translucent yellow cover with a light bulb in the middle to give it that sleek modern look so not much to say here it's a pretty simple design i'm gonna add a light in this lamp that's it's gonna emit light it's probably not gonna show in the final render because it's gonna be overpowered by the sun's light but we're gonna do it anyways next for this interestingly colored table i'm gonna use the standard table making process take a cube use my handy dandy mirror modifier to make four legs and a nice flat tabletop and then uh, I'm going to use my amazing texturing skills and give it this nice plasticky purple feel because that's what I think would go best with the purple instead of purple wood which would be very weird. I mean what an amazing color sense purple table who would have thought beautiful. For the chair, I'm taking reference from this chair I have at home to be and mix it with the kind of style that he had in his drawing. So I'm going to have a metal bottom with a nice plasticky look and the chair on top. So he gave it a black chair so he didn't really color the legs of the chair. So I'm just going to make it that nice steel look that is in my chair at home but give the color of the actual plastic part of the chair black so it resembles his drawing. So for his computer, I'm going for that heavy beauty sturdy type look, that nice indented keyboards that are a bit overextended, but still giving it that sleek and modern feel. So it's not like some old computer from the 90s. So I'm gonna go for a sort of grayish color scheme with the black keyboard keys that are overextended up. So it's like this, nice keyboard style feel and then i'm gonna add some little details here and there stickers on the computer and little designs and whatnot for the screen i'm gonna keep it very basic but add some fun little element as you can see in the picture he has a person drawn there so i'm gonna take a zoom picture from his birthday party that we had and put it on the screen as a nice little fun element there but nothing much other than that to say about the computer, so let's move on. So for the picture frames, I can't really see what he's going for, so I'm going to make a very simple frame with no special curves and stuff, just a nice square frame, 
and then I'm going to add two pictures of us in water because that's the very pronounced blue so I'm going to take that as water one is me at a beach and one is him in the pool so uh, it's good for the window I'm going for that average window look because that's what he portrayed in his picture that standard cross and windows with a slight blue tint so I'm gonna make a hole in the wall and then insert this cube very basic process and then I'm gonna make my windows sort of glass looking for the effect so this window is looking out into the sky and the beautiful sun is there so for the sky I'm gonna have just a blue plane right there and then the sun as a yellow sphere just emitting light so creative I'm not really that great at lighting, so I'm just gonna give that ambient sort of sun lighting with that yellowish orange tint everywhere, but uh, not really focusing too much on that, just making it a nice picture at the end. To finish off the room, I'm giving the walls not that just blank white feel as he gave in the picture. I'm gonna use my little artistic something to add that nice stucco texture to the wall that you see in most common homes. For lastly, we have that mysterious bottle of liquid. I'm just gonna make a normal bottle, make it elegant, make it nice, because I don't really know what it is in this picture, so I guess it's up to me. My awesome modeling skills paid off. It looks like a very nice bottle, but uh, not much to say about that either. And uh, moving on. So now we're pretty much done with all the objects in the whole room in general and we have to move on to the hardest part of this whole thing and that is the character. So I'm not really getting that much information from his drawing about the character so a lot of the artistic decisions are going to be up to me so let's see how this goes. I'm starting with the head, I'm not going to do any sculpting, I'm just giving it the basic features, the nose, mouth and then the indent for the eyes start by giving it that basic head shape so it doesn't look like just a sphere and then i'm going to add more and more complex details as we go on i don't even know the age of this character so i'm going for like a college kid here i don't know i just chose a random age because it's literally a stick figure with hair so not much info there okay so now we have finished the ear and all the major parts of the face, we're going to go on to the fun part, that is the hair. So the care of this shape is the most prominent feature of this character and I'm going to go based on how he drew the hair, just a sort of square feel and not that much combed either, so I'm going to go for that sort of feel and using particle systems, I give that actual realistic hair nice and lush in there. And now for the arms and hands, I'm going to use very basic shapes, cubes and spheres to give it that sort of style that he portrayed in the painting of basic lines and shapes just in three dimensions. Now I'm going to move on to the legs and give it uh, not really special legs, you can't even see them in the picture. And then go back and do some last minute touches to the hair and some face so it doesn't look so odd and weird. Giving the hair a smoother fit around the hair and not so jaggedy corners to give it a more normal look that you don't just have a jagged line of hair going across your face, that would be weird. And now I connect the body to the head with a neck it looks so weird but i have to do it otherwise there'll be two different objects and that would be weirder so we do that and then we work on the even minuter detail for the eyebrows i created a small shape of geometry just to fit on his forehead and i'm going to do a hair simulation on just that area to give it a eyebrow for the character to be positioned in my scene, I'm going to need to add bones so I can move it and manipulate it how I want it in the main scene. I'm not going to animate it, so I'm doing very basic bones, the chest, the body, legs, and so on. 
because I don't need to actually move it, I just need to position it. And last minute final touches, and we are ready to add it back to the main scene. So now I've done that, I just need to position it in the chair and I think we're ready to go. So I've posed it correctly sitting at the chair, looking at the computer, I just need to move my camera, and then I look back and forth from his drawing to my picture and I think we're good to go. So here's my final result. Now all we need to do is call in the boss. Okay, Emmett. So remember that drawing I made you make that other day? Yeah. Well, let me show you. I transformed into the 3D masterpiece. How do you like it? Tell the people how you like this image. Well, um, it, it's a little bit different, but yeah, it's, it, I like it. It's nice. It's not that good, but yes, it's nice. <laughs> no! Thank, thank you, you for watching! Bye! Bye. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see my other Blender stuff, which is much better than this because I spend more time on that, please check out the short movie clip somewhere up here or in the description below. And be on the lookout for more videos such like this. And bye!